Hello, and welcome to this quick tutorial on logging into the Bloomberg Terminal via Disaster Recovery. Reservations are required to use the Bloomberg Terminal, so if you have not already reserved a time slot, please go to the library's homepage at library.doc.gov. And then once you're there, go ahead and click the button Reserve Bloomberg. Using the Bloomberg Terminal in Disaster Recovery works a little differently than physically at the library. If you are logged in and a second person logs into the terminal, you will be logged out. Please respect your colleagues by using the Bloomberg Terminal reservation window that you have set up with this tool. Now that you have a reservation window, let's go ahead and log in. First, go to Bloomberg.com. And click on the Bloomberg Anywhere Remote Login button at the top of the page. The first time you click Bloomberg Anywhere Remote Login, you will be prompted with an alert dialog about Citrix not being installed. Go ahead and click No. Now proceed to enter your Bloomberg Terminal login name and password. Please note, if you have not logged into the terminal in over 45 days, your login has expired, and you will need to call Bloomberg at 212-318-2000. They will be happy to assist you with resetting your password. After you have entered your login name and password, Bloomberg is going to ask you to receive a code. I think e email is the easiest way to receive the code. And that is already selected for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click send. If your validation code methods are not valid, you will need to call Bloomberg at 212-318-2000. And what I mean by that is if your login did not already have a .gov email or it, did, it had your office phone and you're no longer at your office, you, you're going to need to go ahead and call Bloomberg and they will add your .gov email address, which then you'll be able to receive the code. Now enter the code from the email Bloomberg just sent you in this box, then click Next. You are now presented with a choice to launch with or without the Excel add-in. Choose whichever method makes sense for you. Finally, click Launch. If you have Citrix installed on your computer, you will be prompted to open a file with Citrix. Click OK. Give Citrix a minute to connect to Bloomberg, and it should automatically open the four standard terminal windows. If you see warning boxes from the Citrix application, you can go ahead and close the windows. You do not need to permit access for the terminal to run. Each bureau has its own IT configuration, and some bureaus do not have Citrix installed on their computers. If your computer does not offer to launch the Citrix application, go through the login steps again and click on the down arrow next to the launch button and select launch within the browser. At this point, you should be on your standard landing pages on the Bloomberg terminal and good to go. Thank you for watching this tutorial from the Commerce Research Library. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to the library at research at doc.gov. We are working remotely and are ready to help. Thank you.